What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the various parameter types in Revit. So we are just going to discuss it so we don't have any exercise. So I'm just going to show you uh, for you to be able to recognize the available parameter types and work with these available parameter types. Okay, so we are still on the families topic of the Revit for Mechanical Design Certification Preparation because this is also part of your examination. Okay, so in a project, the tools for creating new parameters can be found on the Manage ribbon, which is this one. So we have the Manage tab and then we can see here the settings. Okay, so we have here the parameters such as uh, project parameters. So we have the shared parameters and then we also have the global parameters. Actually, we still have another uh, parameter that is called family parameters. Okay, so but before that, so let me just quickly talk about the project parameters. Okay, so when you say project parameters, project parameters are specific to a project. Okay, so it's only specific on your current project. So if I'm going to select here the project parameters, so I select this one. Okay, so as you can see, I have these three parameters already created in this project. But if I'm going to select this one, edit parameter, it will open up the parameter properties. Okay, so this is the uh, properties of the selected parameter so you can also create a new one here so you can select new and then this is your parameter properties so project parameters are specific to a project so when created so they are assigned to specific categories of elements so project parameters can be used in schedules but not in tags so remember that. So project parameters can be used in schedule but not in tags. Okay, so this is the example of uh, project parameter creation. So you select the project parameter there and then you specify here the, the parameter data name and other options here. I think I already have few exercises wherein I have created uh, project parameters. Okay, so just remember, when created, so they are assigned to a specific category. So that's why we have here a category. So you need to spe uh, select the, the proper categories for that particular element or parameter that you are creating. And also, project parameters can be used in schedules but not in tags. Okay, so the other parameters that I'm talking about is a family parameters so family parameters are specific to a family like for example i'm going to close this one i'm going to cancel this so if i'm going to select this air terminal here so i click this and then i select here edit family to open up the family editor okay so you see i have here family types and then these are the parameters that I'm talking about. So if I select this one, so new parameter. So this is your uh, family parameter. So any parameters that I'm creating here, so that is a family parameter. So it is specific to a family. So they are used to control family geometry and other variables. So family parameters cannot be used in schedule or tags so just remember that so as you can see here so family parameter cannot appear in schedules or tags okay now the third uh, parameters is what you call the shared parameters so let me go back again to my project here so this is my project so shared parameters so if I go again to the manage tab and then you see there is this shared parameters. So let me click that one. Okay. So shared parameters. So shared parameters are definitions that can be used in multiple families or projects. So a while ago, we talked about the project parameters. So the project parameters are specific to a project. But what if you want to have a parameter wherein you can use to... Uh, multiple families or projects so that is where the shared parameters comes in so the shared parameters are stored in external shared parameters text files so you can search my video 
my channel here and then you can look for the shared parameter so you i have uh, several videos wherein i have created a shared parameters so shared parameters are stored in external shared parameters text files okay so both the project and family parameters can be created based on a shared parameters and another thing uh, shared parameters can also be added to tag labels okay so which is kind of very useful so for this reason shared parameters can be used in schedules and tags unlike the family parameters okay just remember project parameters can be used in schedules but not in tags but if you want to use the parameters in schedules and in tags so you need to use shared parameters okay so now the other parameter that we have here is the global parameter so this is the fourth one it specifies parameters that can be added to a project and used to define values of other parameters so this is the global parameters dialog box so global parameters are independent of element categories okay so global parameters can be used to drive dimensions and other parameters and they can also be used uh, to report values okay so that is your uh, four types of uh, parameters okay so what are the four parameter types so these are the project parameters family parameters shared parameters and global parameters okay so that's it for this quick video thank you for watching have a nice day